Mount Everest, known in Nepal as Sagarmatha and in Tibet as Komalungma, has stood as Earth's highest peak for millions of years, rising 8,848 meters into the sky. It's more than just a mountain. It's a symbol of endurance, ambition, and mystery. Yet today, something deeply unsettling is happening. The glaciers and ice fields that have defined Everest for millennia are melting. The question isn't just why, but what this means for climbers, scientists, and the millions of people who depend on this frozen giant. Before we dive deeper into this fascinating topic, don't forget to subscribe for more stories like this. Glaciers are crucial to Mount Everest's identity. They blanket its slopes, feed rivers that flow for hundreds of kilometers, and serve as pathways for climbers ascending to its summit. But these glaciers are now retreating at an alarming pace. The Kumbu Glacier, one of the largest and most well-known, is losing thickness at a rate of nearly one meter every year. Its ice, once solid and unyielding, is thinning and cracking, revealing layers that haven't seen sunlight in centuries. In some areas of Everest, the rate of ice loss has increased by over 50% compared to just a few decades ago. What's even more shocking is that some smaller glaciers near Everest may completely disappear within a lifetime. The conditions on Everest are shifting in ways that defy its reputation as a frigid, unchanging wilderness. Warmer surface temperatures have started to creep into altitudes once considered too high to be affected. Rain is falling where snow once dominated. This rain not only melts the ice directly but also soaks into the glacier. When it refreezes, it creates cracks that weaken the glacier's structure. Moreover, the darker, exposed rock and debris left behind by retreating ice absorb more heat, further accelerating the melting process. This cycle feeds on itself, leaving less and less ice each year. For climbers, Everest's melting ice is more than just a visual change. It's a direct threat to their safety. The Kumbu Icefall, a critical section of the climb, is one of the most dangerous areas on the mountain. With the ice melting and shifting more rapidly, crevasses are opening wider, and ice towers, known as seracs, are collapsing more frequently. In 2014, a massive serac collapse in the Kumbu Icefall claimed the lives of 16 Sherpa guides. This tragedy was a stark reminder of how unstable the ice has become. Even the base camp, located at 5,364 meters above sea level, has had to be relocated. The shifting and thinning ice beneath the Kumbu Glacier made the original site unsafe, with cracks forming under the tents of climbers and support teams. As Everest's ice recedes, it's revealing secrets long hidden beneath the surface. Decades of mountaineering expeditions have left behind traces of human activity. Old oxygen cylinders, abandoned tents, ropes, and climbing gear are emerging from the ice. But it's not just modern relics. Some findings date back centuries or more, including fossils and other natural artifacts that provide a glimpse into the history of this region before humans ever set foot here. These discoveries tell a story, not just of the mountain, but of how human ambition and nature intersect, sometimes with unintended consequences. The melting ice of Mount Everest isn't just a problem for climbers. It's also affecting the people who live in the surrounding regions. The glaciers of the Himalayas act as a water reservoir for much of South Asia, feeding rivers that sustain millions of people. At first, the increased meltwater can lead to swelling rivers and even flooding. But as the glaciers continue to shrink, this water source could diminish, threatening agriculture, drinking water supplies, and hydropower generation. For the communities in Nepal, India, and beyond, the loss of these glaciers would mean not just a change in the landscape, but a fundamental challenge to their way of life. Scientists are closely monitoring the changes on Mount Everest, studying ice cores and glacier movement to better understand the scale of the melt. These studies have revealed something surprising. Much of the ice on Everest is precariously balanced. Some layers of glacier ice, formed over thousands of years, are melting faster than expected. And as they vanish, they take with them vital information about Earth's past climates, data that could help predict future conditions. For those who dream of reaching Everest summit, the mountain is becoming both more accessible and more dangerous. Melting ice has created new routes and uncovered rock faces, but it has also destabilized the terrain, increasing the risk of avalanches and falls. The traditional climbing season, which runs during the spring, may also be shortened in the future as conditions become less predictable. 
Some experienced climbers worry that Everest's iconic glaciers could one day become little more than a memory. Mount Everest is not alone. Across the Himalayas, glaciers are retreating, reshaping the region's geography and ecology. The Himalayas, often called the Water Towers of Asia, supply water to some of the world's largest rivers, including the Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Industry. These rivers are lifelines for nearly 1.6 billion people. As the glaciers feeding these rivers shrink, the balance of water availability is changing. Initially, increased meltwater can lead to floods and overflowing rivers, but this surge is temporary. Over time, as glaciers recede further, these rivers could run dry during critical seasons, putting millions of lives and livelihoods at risk. Entire ecosystems, built around consistent glacial flows, are also facing disruption. The changes on Everest are a stark warning of what might happen in other mountain ranges around the world. In the Alps, centuries-old glaciers are vanishing at an unprecedented rate. Ice that once formed the backbone of local tourism, agriculture, and hydroelectric power is now disappearing, leaving behind barren landscapes. Studies predict that more than 90% of alpine glaciers could vanish by the end of the century if current trends continue. This loss would drastically alter the region's environment, economy, and cultural heritage. In the Andes, glaciers play a crucial role in water supply, particularly in arid regions like Peru and Bolivia. These ice reserves act as natural reservoirs, releasing water during the dry season to support agriculture and urban centers. But as glaciers recede, communities that have relied on this steady flow for centuries are now grappling with water shortages. The disappearance of glaciers here is not just a matter of environmental concern, it's a humanitarian crisis in the making. Even Mount Kilimanjaro, with its iconic snow-capped peak, is losing its ice. Studies estimate that the glaciers on Kilimanjaro could disappear completely within a few decades. For local communities and ecosystems, this loss signifies the end of a vital water source, a cultural landmark, and a key factor in regional weather patterns. High-altitude glaciers, from Alaska to the Himalayas, share a common story of retreat. With each glacier that disappears, we lose not only a natural wonder, but also a crucial stabilizer of local ecosystems, water supplies, and weather systems. Mount Everest has always been a symbol of human ambition and the power of nature. It represents endurance, challenge, and awe. But as its ice melts, Everest is becoming a symbol of change, an undeniable marker of how even the mightiest natural giants are not immune to the forces reshaping our world. Its melting glaciers serve as a reminder of what is at stake, not just for climbers and scientists, but for the millions who depend on these frozen landscapes for survival. The fate of Everest reflects the challenges facing every glacier, every mountain range, and every region that relies on their enduring presence.